Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm just showing the old wind tunnel design and um, highlighting some interesting things between Mercedes' almost championship winning W12 and the championship winner, Red Bull RB16B. So, as you can see here, um, the smoke going over the top of the vehicle is all I'll be really looking at here as the rolling floor doesn't really allow the smoke to proceed across the floor of the car, which is the most important. However, uh, some of the cool things you can see here are the front instrument cluster and the halo, as well as the upper camera and um, a few of the little tweaks to the mirrors and also some interesting things happening behind Lewis Hamilton's helmet. This is an extremely cool visualization. As you can see, the little arrow bit on the halo itself doing a great job pushing the airflow right up into that uh, engine intake, utilizing the iPhone's ability to do extreme slow-mo has helped me be able to slow down this footage in order to analyze the wind flow. Eventually, we'll be increasing the uh, camera footage here to a little higher um, quality as well as the ability to slow things down a lot more um, and to do some overlays to the video to highlight some of the uh, effects that you're seeing here. One of the most interesting effects that you can kind of gain a grasp for is actually the vortices created by Lewis Hamilton's helmet. So even the helmet comes into play when it comes to aerodynamic design. Here is our championship winner Max Verstappen's Red Bull, the formidable RB16B. This is actually the scale model of the exact car that won in Abu Dhabi. Incredible race, terrible ending, still have nightmares. Um, I'm an Aston Martin fan. Goes all the way back to the Force India days, so I haven't seen much success in a long time. So I'm envious of the teams that can design machines uh, such as the RB16B. Here you can see the airflow going over the back spoiler there. Um, got some uh, clear issues with the smoke uh, separating there. That's uh, something that I also am working on. There are vortices being created by my diffuser. That's not great. So all of this is being taken into account when the next wind tunnel design is scaled up. This is a 1 uh, scale model. Both of the models seen in the video were made by Mini Champs. Not inexpensive models, however, pretty, pretty darn accurate when it comes to aero testing. Um, certainly not as accurate as full scale. You know, there are a few features of the front spoilers, the rear spoiler, um, that don't have gaps where they are supposed to be, but I imagine that comes down to the scaling process and how detailed these companies want to make these models. However, still a very good representation of airflow. This leads us into the final visualization, and this will be the F1 car that we will be modifying extensively but first, starting with the front wing, the floor, and the rear spoiler. As you can see, once the smoke starts, this design is clearly not optimized. So you have a massive airflow block in the engine intake. You have airflow getting very distorted over the tires and being trapped within the side pods. Overall, I would expect this car to rate pretty poorly aerodynamically, and that's why we will use this as a starting point to springboard into designing new front wings, new floors, new rear wings, and seeing how they affect the airflow, as well as improving this car to hopefully get a product here 
that is aerodynamically sound, as well as something that we can all learn from as to how to increase and decrease downforce.